Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Let's have an interesting live today about the Bible and about science, where science meets the Bible. So I always thought it was quite interesting my whole life how they have all these dinosaur museums and find all these dinosaurs, but dinosaurs are not actually mentioned in the Bible until now. Or are they? Maybe they are mentioned in the Bible. These two chapters in Job got me questioning, is God referring to a dinosaur? Them being Job chapter 40, verses 15 through 24, and Job chapter 41. He was describing Behomim. Is that how you say it? Behometh in chapter 40 and Levathon in chapter 41. Um, now I, I got to be honest, this Levathon one, I'm like... Yo, let, let's just take it step by step. Because at first I was like, man, who is that? Is that a... They both sound like ancient creatures. But then I was like, this thing is deep. Is he describing? Because he was... Let's just get into chapter 40. This is what made me think that he might be talking about a dinosaur in chapter 40. And or maybe chapter 41. And then tell me your thoughts. So chapter 40, verses 15 through 24. Read. Behold now Behometh, which I made with thee. He eateth grass as an ox. Lo, now his strength is in his loins, and his force is the navel is in the navel of his belly. He moveth his tail like a cedar. The sinews of stones are wrapped together. His bones are as strong pieces of brass. His bones are like bars of iron. He is the chief of the ways of God. He that made him can make his sword to approach unto him. Surely the mountains bring him forth food where all the beasts of the field play. He lieth under the shady trees in the covert of the reed and fins. The shady trees cover him with their shadow the willows of the brook compass him about behold he drinketh up a river and hasteth not he trusteth that he can draw up Jordan unto his mouth into his mouth he taketh it with his eyes his nose pierced through snares paws so for one it says he was in the mountains were dinosaurs in the mountains I don't know I know they was on flat grassland for sure back in those according to science but it does say that he lied under the trees. And I remember watching all those dinosaur cartoons with them dinosaurs be lying under the trees and eating grass. Here we, be, we will be talking about a herbivore, dino, a herbivore, herbivore dinosaur, not a carnivore. Those only eat grass and those be big and awesome to uh, witness with the sight as well. And then it says he drinketh up the Jordan. Did he say the Jordan? A river, like, you know, I can drink this whole thing up. I'm like, that has to be a huge creature. That's what makes me think it may be a dinosaur. And then when it talks about his bones as strong pieces of brass and bars of iron, and it and it's like um, his strength is in his belly. You know, the dinosaurs had those big old bellies. He moveth his tail like a cedar. I was like, okay, this is talking about some ancient creature. Because this creature, I don't think this is a creature from today. I think it was an ancient creature. And I'm like, who else had a tail that swept like behind him where he went on like, but the dinosaur. And when it talks about his his scales or his his bones being a piece of brass and iron, I was like, this has to be an ancient dinosaur. Y'all let me know. Let's jump into 41. Because I'm thinking this also could be a dinosaur. But then I was like, well, maybe it's Satan. Because it was talking about how fire proceeds out of his mouth. But then it also talks about how he was in the sea. So I'm like, Satan wasn't in the sea. Or was it some ancient sea serpent? And then I was like, well, maybe it's a... But then the part that made it said he is a king over all the children of pride. This has to be an ancient creature, or maybe it's Satan. Y'all tell me, is this the dinosaur, some other ancient prehistoric creature, or is this Satan? Tell me. This is Job chapter 41. God says, can you conquer Levithon? Canst thou draw out Levithon with the hook? Or his tongue with the cord which thou lettest down? Can thou put a hook into his nose or bore his jaw through with the thorn? So it's like he in the sea, right? Because what do you do? What do you pull out hooks? Do you pull out fishes and, and stuff like that? Will he make many supplications unto thee? Will he speak soft words unto thee? Will he make a covenant with thee? Will thou take him for a servant unto him? Servant forever. Will thou play with him as with a bird? So he could be a dinosaur. Because dinosaurs are in the bird family. Or wilt thou bind him for thy maiden? and shall the companions make a banquet of him? Shall they part him among the merchants? Canst thou fill his skin with barbed irons or his head with fish spears? Lay thine hand upon him. Remember the battle. Do no more because you won't be able to do it again because he's that sharp. Behold, the hope of him is in vain. Shall no one be cast down even at the sight of him? Whew. 
None is so fierce that dare stir him up. When then is able, who then is able to stand before me? God is talking about himself because he made such, you know, he's saying, I made these creations. I'm bad. Like, who do you think you is? Who have prevented me that I should repay him? Whatsoever is under the whole heaven is mine. I will not conceal his parts, nor his power, nor his comely proportion. Who can discover the face of his garment? Or who can come with him? Who can come to him with his double brittle? Who can open the door? Sorry, it's hot in this room. And I got the air on and it's not doing me nothing. Who can open the doors of his face? His teeth are terrible round about. His scales are his pride. Shut up together as with a closed seal. Listen to that. It says, who can open the doors of his face? His teeth are terrible round about. His scales are his pride. Shut up together as with a closed seal. Or is no, or is so near to another that no air can come between them. They are joined one to another. They stick together. They cannot be sundered. By his nestings the light doeth shine. And his eyes are like the eyelids of the morning. I know what you're thinking. That sounds like a crocodile or alligator, right? But listen to the next part. Because alligators and crocodiles, they do not breathe out fire. This sounds like... Some creature that came out of the sea sounded similar to a, an, an alligator, crocodile, dinosaur, some sort of water creature. But listen, out of his mouth go, with, go burning lamps and sparks of fire leap out. Out of his nostrils go with smoke as out of a seething pot or cauldron. His breath kindleth coals and a flame goeth out of his mouth. That means this is a fire breathing creature like a dragon in a fairy tale movie. In his neck remain the strength, and sorrow is turned in joy before him, into joy before him. The, that means that you up there in fright and you scared and he joy because he probably gonna eat you for lunch. He like he like having the time of his life because he's gonna get a good snack. That being you, the flakes of his flesh are joined together. They are firm in themselves. They cannot be moved. His heart is a, is as firm as a stone, yea, as hard as a piece of the nether milestone when he raiseth up himself the mighty are afraid by reason of breakings they purify themselves the sword of him that layeth at him cannot hold the spear the dart nor the habergeon the habergeon he is seen in iron as straw and brass as rotten wood the arrow cannot make him flee sling stones are turned with him into stubble darts are counted as stubble he laugheth at the shaking of a spear Listen to how dreadful this this creature is. Sharp stones are under him. He spreadeth sharp pointed things upon the mire. It says he maketh the deep to boil like a pot. We're talking about the sea. He maketh the sea like a pot of ointment. So this was an ancient creature, a, a, a fire breathing ancient creature that was in the sea. He maketh the path to shine after him in the sea. Who is this? One would think the deep to be hoary. Hoary. H-O-A-R-Y. I don't know how to pronounce that. Tell me how. Upon earth there is not like his. There is not his life. Who is made without fear? He beholdeth all high things. He is a king over all the children of pride. Yo, the Bible got some deep mysteries. You don't need no Sherlock Holmes, no diagnosis murder. None of these other books can touch the mysteries in the Bible. I don't know who the Lord is talking about. I don't know if he's talking about Satan. I don't know if he's talking about a fire-breathing dragon, some type of swimming dinosaur. I don't know what he's talking about. But I thought that maybe in chapter 40 or 40, um... One, he was talking, he could be talking about a dinosaur, at least in one or the other. So if you think that maybe 40 was talking about a dinosaur, maybe 41, or if you think 41 is talking about Satan or fire breathing dragon, some prehistoric creature that doesn't exist anymore, because obviously that's what it is, unless it's just a, a synonym or something for the enemy. I don't know, but whatever you think it is, let me know, because he got me over here pondering, like, Jesus, what is this? Jesus, tell me. I want. I got to know what is these creatures that you're referring to in Job 40 and 41? Because that's some deep mystery stuff. I can write a book right about that creature. Let me know, okay? Yo, the Bible got them, got them mysteries. You know, you know, you know. But anyway, y'all, let me know in your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Good day. Bye. Happy Friday.